and ounce. Don't rent someone else's vision. I'm Jim Fugate and it's my privilege to share an ounce with you. I had the privilege of listening to a few of the experiences and insights of an extraordinary man. A man whom most are probably not very familiar with. His name is Raja Dhaliwal. Ten years or so ago, Raj was a taxi driver. He was working long hours in one of the larger cities in Canada, hauling folk to and from the airport. Raj is generally quiet, very respectful and kind. Raj was not born in Canada. He immigrated there to find a better life. Raj has olive skin, a long, full beard, and he also wears a turban. And he is most concerned about how he feels in his heart, much more so than how he looks to you. I heard him speak a year or so ago to a packed house, tens of thousands of people. His English was not perfect, but he was very conversant and clear. But communicating with people is something he does quite well, in at least four languages. What did this simple cab driver have to say that was so appreciated by those tens of thousands who were there to listen to him? One of his key points was focused on how he went from being a cab driver, struggling to make ends meet, to a very wealthy man in a key role in leading one of the largest and fastest growing financial institutions in Canada. Raj pointed out that for a person to succeed, they need to have a vision of what success looks like to them, and for their vision to have any power. Well, it's got to be consistently compelling and motivating to them. It has to be a great vision, so great that whenever they think about it, they get excited. It makes their heart beat faster because they want it that badly. This vision of their future cannot be a humdrum continuation of just getting by, of just surviving. And it cannot be someone else's vision. Raj says, and I quote, you cannot be motivated sufficiently by a dream or vision you are renting from someone else. It must be yours, and it needs to thrill you, end quote. And may I add that one of the really great things about owning your own vision instead of renting someone else's, you get to renovate, build on, or change your vision any way you want. Apparently, Raja Dhaliwal knows how to have vision. He knows how to dream. And it is apparent that he has learned how to make his vision real. After all, he went from driving a Toyota for everyone else to driving a Mercedes for himself. And the power of his vision has lifted many others, in many ways both subtle and great. It takes some chutzpah to maintain that kind of vision. It takes some courage to push through your doubts and the doubts of others. It may have seemed silly to many that this quiet and unassuming taxi driver would quickly become so wealthy and would lift so many others with him. But truly, he does not seem that different today than he probably was 10 years ago. A man under a turban, with a spark in his eye, wearing a little grin that you can almost make out under that facial hair, and not looking terribly comfortable in a suit. You see, in the ways that really matter, Raj was always wealthy. He cultivated a richness of faith, of the benefits of consistent effort, a love for people, and a refusal to accept that richness and wealth were not already there. Money is more than likely one of the poorest ways to measure wealth. So, Here's the ounce. You and I, like Raj, and others like him, need to begin to recognize the true wealth that is in us. We must accept the inherent value in ourselves and in those around us. And because of that wealth, we must take responsibility to do something about it and be generous with ourselves and with those around us. Think about this for a moment. What excites you? Where would you just love to be? Geographically, or with your attitude, or financially, or in your relationships, or anywhere else? 
Can you see it? Does it excite you? So go ahead. You've got at least the beginning of your own compelling vision. We must recognize the wealth we already have and believe and be motivated by our own compelling, exciting, and even thrilling vision. For where there is no vision, the people perish. And that's it. An ounce submitted for your consideration.